NBC Sports presents the 1973 Orange Bowl game. The Fighting Irish of Notre Dame meeting the Cornhuskers of Nebraska. And brought to you by Pontiac. The wide track people have a way with cars. And by Goodyear, makers of the new custom steel guard radial tire. And by Texaco and the many thousands of independent Texaco retailers and distributors in all 50 states. I'm Jim Simpson along with Kyle Rowe. Well, for the third consecutive year, Nebraska is here. This year, however, no chance to win the national title. Southern California has just done that in most convincing fashion. But for Bob Devaney, this is his final game as a coach in the collegiate ranks. And uh, it'll be Eric Persegan of Notre Dame. He is 8-2-0. But now let us quickly, Kyle, we'll get to you in a moment, but let us go down to the field and our pregame pageantry, which has already begun. here. Who am I? Well, I thought you knew me. I'm the youth of America. Hey, don't turn your back. There's something I want to say to you. What's that? You're not interested in me? You're worried about the country's future because of me? Hey, look again, won't you? That's it. Look here, in the right places. Surprise? Sure, it's me. I've been here all the time, but you've been looking in the wrong direction. Hey, I understand. There's always doubt toward a new generation. But look, you're too uptight. Relax, for as certain as you and I will grow older, it is also certain that I will mature and become as responsible as you have. And I'll surely see that you and our United States shall be secure in your late years. What's that? You feel better towards me now? Gee, I, I hoped you would. You see, I'm a proud American too. Listen now, as the youth here on this field tonight present for you their own special rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. Kyle and I have been coming down here for many years now, and we never fail to be amazed and impressed by the pageantry of the Orange Bowl. In a moment, and we'll game in a moment, 
Notre Dame will be introduced. They are 8 2 and 0. Full appearance. They appeared in the 1925 Rose Bowl and in two Cotton Bowls. And for Nebraska, as we started to say, they are appearing in the unprecedented third consecutive Orange Bowl game. In other years, they won the national championship here. This year, as Johnny Rogers said, they are in it for the prize. But the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, and there they are, 8-2-0. Many people picked them to be 6-4 and four this year. They lost so many from their defensive unit that our Persegan, one of the great coaches in Notre Dame history, has put together a winning squad. And now Notre Dame is being introduced. Notre Dame and Nebraska out on the field ready for the opening kickoff and we'll be right back start of the 1973 Irons Bowl game in Miami Florida in just a moment The officials tonight from the Big Eight, Vance Carlson, the referee, Wendell Winkler, the linesman, Bill Osborne, the back judge. The Big Ten officials tonight, Ed Herbert, the umpire, Bob Dangenhart, the field judge, and Dick Walterhouse, the clock operator. The flip of the coin, John Dampier, 67-75, is Greg Marks for Notre Dame. 54 is Doug Dumbler for Nebraska. And 55, defensive captain Bill Jansen. And here's the flip. Carlson talking now to Nebraska. Notre Dame says it wants to go that way, so it is obvious that Nebraska has won the toss and will receive. Notre Dame will kick off as these two teams are getting ready to meet for the first time in 25 years. And now, while we do have a moment, Kyle, what are your thoughts of tonight's game? Well, you know, a lot of people... Uh Notre Dame is the underdog coming into the game and you always uh, address your thoughts to what the underdog can do to equalize the game and from Notre Dame's standpoint they run a lot they run well I think tonight though we'll be seeing them put the ball in there a lot more because the Nebraska defensive unit ranked fourth nationally on defense outstanding very strong very tough don't give up much yardage on the ground so I think we'll see young Tom Clements the Notre Dame quarterback going into the air quite a bit more than he would normally do the other key to it, I think, is really what the Notre Dame defense can do to stop the Nebraska offense. Nebraska, a powerful offensive unit, and especially when you have a fellow on the field named Johnny Rogers. We'll talk more about him. I'm sure we'll see a great deal of him tonight. But how you stop him, uh, a lot of people are still trying to answer that question around the country, teams that have faced Johnny Rogers in Nebraska. There's Johnny Rogers. He's the one that's doing the little dance there. Number 20, the Heisman Trophy winner, Rich Baugh. Number 24 is back with him. Rogers last year 
when uh, Nebraska defeated Alabama returned one punt 77 yards for a score that was instrumental in breaking that game apart. Notre Dame is huddling at the other end of the field. As we said they were in the 1925 Rose Bowl. They've been in two Cotton Bowls. They're 2 1 and 0 oh, and we welcome them to Miami Florida for the first time ever playing in the Orange Bowl Classic of 1973. That is Bob Thomas who is going to kick off tonight. Normally Cliff Brown does. Thomas is the extra point and conversion man. But Bob Thomas will kick off. And now the 1973 Iron Bowl Classic is underway as Thomas of Notre Dame kicks off to Rogers and Baugh of Nebraska. Short kick off the hand picked up by Rogers. Across the 20 trying to get outside. That's Rudnick trying to hold him down and does as he gets near the 25 yard line. Tim Rudnick of Notre Dame hauls down the Heisman Trophy winner Johnny Rogers. Dave Hum number 12 will be quarterback. Gary Dixon 22 the eye back. Bill Olds 44 the fullback. Johnny Rogers number 20 the wing back. Your split end Bob Revelle 84. Your tight end Jerry List 85. Daryl White and Marv Crenshaw the tackles. Dan Anderson and Mike Barron the guards. Doug Dumbler the offensive captain at center. This is Johnny Rogers operating out of the eye formation and Rogers is out across the 30 yard line. They'll mark it at the 35 and that should be good enough for a first down. Mike Townsend made the stop. For Notre Dame, Tim Sullivan 42, Kevin Nosbush 60, Greg Mark 75, George Hayduck 95, the front four. Jim Berserker 47, Drew Mahalik 45, the outside linebackers, Jim O'Malley 81 in the middle, the deep men in a moment. This time it is Dixon, and Dixon is knocked down by Mazurka, number 47. Ken Sleezer, 16, Reggie Barnett, 14, the halfbacks. Tim Rudnick, 7, Mike Townsend, 27, the deep men. Here's another look at Greg Marks, the All-American from Notre Dame. Number 75, defensive right tackle. Keeping his eye in that backfield. A lot of motion in the backfield. Tendency to be swayed by a lot of the movement to the other direction. Dave Gaylor, 28, has come in. And that is Gaylor with the football. Gaylor gets across midfield and down to the 48-yard line of Notre Dame. And that's the fellow they really like. Tremendously fast start. You'll see him hit in that hole. Great block by number 72, Daryl White, the left tackle coming across. Long trap by the tackle. Reggie Barnett, number 14, made the stop. The first down at Notre Dame's 48. No score. Rodgers was flanked to the right. He's got the football, and down he goes after a gain of a yard. And that is another All-American, Greg Marks, number 75, going great lateral pursuit. He is 260 and comes up limping just a bit, Kyle. Notre Dame, as we said, picked by many to be no better than 5-5 or 6-4 this season. But they've molded together a fine team, and here they are in the Orange Bowl. You know about Nebraska. Second down and nine. Dave Hum hands off to his eye back. That is Dave Gaylor. And he's not going far. Jim O'Malley, 81. And Rudnick, number seven, coming up from the strong side safety to make the stop. It'll be third down and long yardage. Third and about seven. And the big matchup, of course, on the field right now. The left guard, Dan Anderson, 67, working on Greg Mark, 75. Rogers to the left. Ravel at the bottom of your screen. Hum hands, and that is Rogers, who was out of the eye back formation, and he's got the first down across the 35. Gaylor, Dixon, Rogers, Garson will either flank, take the position in the eye back spot. Johnny Rogers, every time he's touched the football in his collegiate career, it's been nearly 14 yards. First down at the 34, no score, we've just begun. Dave Hum. Quarterback keeper on the option and goes to the 25-yard line. Nebraska took the opening kickoff out to their own 24 and it marks now to the 25 of Notre Dame. Drew Mahalik just overrunning the play just a little bit. Mahalik number 45, the outside linebacker, going out undecided really whether to force the quarterback, try to block the pitch out, go for the pitch out, man. He just got hung outside a little too long. Rodgers has carried three times for 23 yards. Second man through, that is Gaylor. 
But he has the first down. Dave Gaylor of Nebraska has the first down. Down to the 23-yard line. Parsegan of Notre Dame. His team has yet to touch the football. Nebraska off and marks now to the Notre Dame 23. Nebraska the 13-point favorite as we begin tonight's game. Hum setting up on the side to Rogers. Rogers down the sidelines and inside the 15-yard line. The Halick 45 knocks him out of bounds. Have a look at this. The two left side linemen, 72 Daryl White, 67 Dan Anderson, out in front blocking on the play. Bringing the ball in and marking it. At the 13-yard line, it is oh so close to a first down. It is second down and inches. Second man through, that is Gaylor, and Gaylor's inside the 10-yard line. He has got the first down. Dave Gaylor, the junior from Bilger, Nebraska. And a Notre Dame man has been shaken up on the play down at the 13 yard line. Number 75, Greg Marks, their All American tackle, who also made the academic All American and limping moments ago, is really limping now. The man that backs him up there, and we'll see who checks in, is number 79, Jay Akteroff, and he is a freshman. Greg Marks, the All American is out of there. The ball is on the eight yard line. It is first down. I think we'll probably see Marks back in last game of his collegiate career. Bob Devaney you saw across the way. This is Johnny Rogers. Rogers inside the five. Rogers down. Score! Eight yard touchdown run. Johnny Rogers the Heisman Trophy winner. And for Rogers. That is his eighth touchdown rushing this year. And watch your right guard, number 62, Mike Barron. He'll pull in as well, holds the fullback, number 44. And the rest of it's pretty much Rogers all on his own. Another one, 62, Mike Barron in, making a key block. Rich Sanger comes in and with hum holding, kicks the extra point. And very quickly, marching the first time they got their hands on the football, the Cornhuskers of Nebraska lead Notre Dame 7 to nothing. When we come back, we'll get their hands on the football for the first time tonight. All-American tackle Greg Marks of Notre Dame being worked on by a trainer there as Nebraska marched 76 yards in slightly more than three minutes. Four times for 31 yards, including eight yards for a score. Caught one for nine yards. Very instrumental. And now Dimonick, 28, nearest to you. Dewan, number 10, across the way. Sanger kicks off. This is Ann Gary Dimonick to the 20 to the 25 and out to the 28 yard line where Notre Dame gets its hands on the football for the first time tonight. Dimonick number 28 apparently staying in. Tom Clements number two is the quarterback. Andy Huff number 20 is the fullback and Daryl Dewan the other halfback number 10. Willie Townsend 80 the split end. Mike Creeny 91 the tight end. Dan Pierre and Casper the tackles. Donardo and Promarico the guards and Doug Brew at center operating on Rich Glover. That is Andy Huff. John Dutton on top of him. There's a front five for Nebraska. 
Steve Manstead, 82. Bill Jansen, 55. Rich Clever, the Outland Trophy winner, the middle guard, 79. John Dutton, 90. Lee Hopper, 81. Jim Branch, 51. John Pitts, 56. The linebackers, Dave Mason, 25. The Monster Man, Lahawk, 27. Board, 19. The halfbacks, and Thornton, number 17 at safety. Dewan goes in motion. Pitch back to Dimonick. Dimonick across the 30-yard line and not much more. Dimonick tonight is starting over Eric Pennick, number 44, who is their leading ground gainer, a sophomore from Cleveland, Ohio. The word we get is that Pennick participated in the Orange Bowl parade on Saturday night, much to the chagrin and surprise and disappointment of his coach, Eric Persigan, and did not run at first string in yesterday's practice and is not running or starting tonight's game. Go on in motion. Third down, long yardage. Clements back, looking to throw, has the one by himself. He slips and falls down. But it's a first down at the 43-yard line. Somebody missed their assignment there. Darrell DeWan was all by himself. Well, I think the safety man for the Cornhuskers, number 17, Bob Thornton, was anticipating a run. He came up looking for the run. By that time, DeWan had gotten out to the outside. Andy Borg had to go in with the wide receiver, so it left DeWan all alone. Ten minutes to go. First quarter, seven to nothing, Nebraska. First down, Notre Dame. This is Dewan faking the reverse to Willie Townsend coming around the other way and just does get back to the line of scrimmage. Looks like Jim Branch, number 51, Bill Jansen, 55, in on the stop. Jim, a matchup that I guess will just uh, will be so obvious uh, out there tonight that. Uh, will be most interesting to watch, and that's Rich Glover, number 79, on the nose of the offensive center, Dave Drew. What an assignment Drew has drawn for this evening. Monty Johnson, 37, has checked in at tackle for Nebraska. Juan in motion again. Clements going for him by himself again. To the 40. 30, and knocked out of bounds by number 19, Randy Board. First down. That's twice he's come out of the backfield, and nobody has been with him. This is one thing that Nebraska said they were concerned about. All of that action in the Notre Dame backfield, their men in motion, their pro type of set. They give them so many different looks. And here again, Juan getting loose. He was the man in motion. A blown coverage in the backfield for Nebraska. First down at the 29-yard line. Clements hands off to Andy Huff. Up is the man that Notre Dame calls the complete football player, all football. His father was an end at Indiana. His brother, Bill, was a linebacker on Indiana's Rose Bowl team of five years ago. And his brother, Marty, played with Michigan in the Rose Bowl in 1970. Well, the Huff boys have been around. Second down, and let's call it eight. Clement's going. He's got Townsend and overthrows him. Bob Thornton was there. Randy Borg has gone to the sidelines, and he has been replaced by Zaven Uralian, number 15, after Dewan got loose for two long catches along this sideline. All right, Tom Clements just came so close to hitting Townsend on the play. Townsend had come all the way from across the left side, gave a good inside move to Thornton, pulled away from him. Pete Demerley tried to check in and had to go back out. He's a wide receiver. DeWan going in motion to the other side now. Third down, long yardage. Clement fakes, and he is hit behind the line of scrimmage. Manstead, number 82, a very consistent and fine defensive left end for Nebraska, made the stop. That rolls him back to the 35. It is fourth down and about 16. Apparently, they got their defensive coverage correct on that one. Joe Blahawk. Covering the man in motion. Bob Thomas is coming in. He is the field goal kicker. And this will be held by Clements at the 42, meaning it is a 52-yard cross. He's got some foot to it, but not enough. It bounds short, and Nebraska will take over on their own 20-yard line. 7.53 to go in the 1973 Orange Bowl game in Miami, Florida. Nebraska's Dames fighting up to nothing. A great job, man.
Yeah. No. Uh-uh. Uh, Greg Marks is back in. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. Last night, a new audience in the Sugar Bowl. Oklahoma shut out Penn State. The Lambert Trophy winners 14 to nothing. In the Cotton Bowl this afternoon, believe it or not, Alabama has not beaten the Texas team nor won since 1966 in a bowl game. Texas coming from behind 17 to 13. And who's number one? Southern California. 42 to 17. What a job they did this afternoon. Although it was tied 7-7 at the half. Greg Morris is back in. First down, Nebraska. They lead 7 to nothing from their own 20. Second man through is Johnny Rogers. And Jim, it's interesting that Johnny Rogers is at the deep spot in that eye formation, the eye back. Uh, we understand that he hasn't really been used that much in the in that position this this year, as usual as we did last year. Where there were rumors that they were working him at the deep spot, but this apparently they are going to be going with him quite a bit tonight. Dixon and Dan Kroger in the eye now as Hum goes back to pass, looks across the middle, has his man across the middle, a tight end Jerry List. And List has the first down up to the 34-yard line. O'Malley, 41, and Mazurka, 47, made the stop there. Now the first time Nebraska got its hands on the football, they marked 76 yards for a score. And they're moving the football again. But Notre Dame showed its ability to move the football. Ravel goes to the left, Rogers to the right. Dan Kroger gets his first try and picks up a couple of tough yards. And number 75 is Greg Marks, O'Malley, 81, and Mihalik, 45, all in on the stop. Another look at Greg Marks, senior from Redford, Michigan, taking on the runner, number 46, Mardam Kroger. Second down and six, that's Rogers at the top of your screen. What an exciting player, Heisman Trophy winner. Hum back to throw. Goes, and it is almost intercepted by Mike Townsend. Did he really want that? He has 10 interceptions on the year. Intended for Bob Ravel, the good sophomore split end. Again, as Jim pointed out, Townsend almost picking this off. He led the nation in interceptions with those 10. There he almost got another one with his right hand. Third down and six. Rogers and Ravel both to the side, and Ravel, look out, Hum got the football and is being knocked out of bounds, shy of the first down. It'll be fourth down and about three and a half to go at the 41 yard line. Reggie Barnett, number 14, pursuing the play very well along with Jim O'Malley. It's fourth down. Rudnick, number seven, goes back along with 16, Ken Schlesis. And there is Rich Sanger, averaging yards per punt. Notre Dame's defensive stopping Nebraska. The punt is away and takes a Notre Dame bounce and is quickly downed by Bob Ravel, number 84. Oh, we have 6.22 to go. Notre Dame nothing, Nebraska seven. Okay, fine. Right. Twenty three is our best. Panic's not back in there yet, is it?
Jim Simpson with Kyle Rowe, and that's the Nebraska bench across the way. This is Bob Devaney's last night as a college coach. And this youngster in his mid-30s, Tom Osborne, an assistant now, will be the head coach once this ball game is over. Devaney will become the athletic director. From the 32-yard line, first and 10, Dewan comes in motion again. Clements looking long on the pattern to Townsend. Back there, and it is intercepted, I believe, by Joe Blahock, number 27. Blahock, the man with the most speed, down flat on his back. He was with Willie Townsend as they had double-teamed him, Kyle. Another look at it. Clements will get pressure from his right. Number 55, Bill Jansen. Here comes the pass intended for Willie Townsend. Joe Blahock, number 27, senior from Columbus. Hauling it in. Another look at it. We'll cover Willie Townsend going downfield. Townsend, one of the two Townsend brothers. Catching it on the bounce. Blahawk, who had a couple of interceptions, second team All American, as you saw, I believe, just really took a big tumble. He's all right. He's only 5'9, but he's got the most speed of all the secondary of. The Cornhuskers of Nebraska makes the interception. Their first turnover of the night at the 18-yard line, and it is first down 10 there for Nebraska. 6.13 to go. First quarter, Rogers drops out to the left. Gaylor, 28, holds 44, the other backs. That is Dave Gaylor. Gaylor gets across the 20-yard line. Gain of three. It'll be second down. Hayduck is getting up. Nas Bush, number 60. Second down at about seven. And as Glover is the key to the Nebraska defensive unit, keep your eye on Jim O'Malley, number 81, the middle linebacker. He plays relatively the same position, position as Glover, just a little deeper in the normal linebacker spot. Rogers to the right. Hum gives back the other way to Gaylor. Gaylor's got the first down out to the 30-yard line. Dave Gaylor. The junior from Pilger, Nebraska. Again, Nebraska giving motion one way, coming back the other way. And again, trying to get O'Malley to take himself out of there. Marks to take himself out, counter back. Out is Rebell at the bottom of your screen. Quick pitch back to guess who? Johnny Rogers. And that's just a couple of tough yards, no more. Haduck is there, O'Malley is there. And Gary Potempa has gone in, number 40, replacing Greg Marsh. Now, Batempa had to play defensive tackle against USC, and now he's being put in on the right side and replaced with the injured Marsh. Rogers goes out, second down and eight. This is Gaylor, and there goes the football. Notre Dame has the football inside the 25. Picked up by Tim Sullivan. Another look at O'Malley, the middle linebacker. He's the one that forced the fumble. Sullivan, 42, the defensive left end, in on the recovery. A turnover apiece now. 7 0 Nebraska. Notre Dame with the ball in its best position. Inside the 25. They tried a 52 yard field goal earlier. Townsend comes to the left. Mark Best is in the backfield. We still have not seen Eric Pennick. This is Dewan. Dewan runs right into a couple of men and he's knocked down after perhaps a half a yard gain. Willie Harper, the All-American N81, and John Pitts, the weak side linebacker, 56, both of them seniors, made the stop, played their position perfectly, and it's second down and nine. Harper, outstanding defensive player in an iron fall, in one of the three appearances they've had, discussed it this year. He says they're running the other way. Running away from him. Now Clement. Back. He has got Huff there and just overthrows him. Now Clements Kyle has just missed on a couple of passes tonight, each of which has been overthrown. Well, he has, but I think what is important, at least for the Notre Dame side of it, is that his play selection is just excellent. Apparently the scouting of the Nebraska defensive unit, type of plays they wanted to install for tonight's offensive attack, are right on the button. Beat Demerley, 85, comes at its split end, and Townsend comes out. Clements out of McKees Rock, Pennsylvania. He is a sophomore, and this is third down and nine. 
One in motion. Clements again. Oh, he is thrown way back by the monster man who was blitzing on the play, Dave Mason. Takes him out of field goal range. We were talking about things being right on the button. This time it was Nebraska's turn. Dave Mason, the senior from Green Bay, Wisconsin, diagnosing it beautifully. Not surprising. Carries a 3.79 grade average. Fourth down and 23. And so Brian Darty has had to go in to kick. Nebraska surrenders no points on its turnover on the fumble. Darty does not kick them far, but kicks them high. Angles this for the corner. Rogers is there. Let us see where they mark the ball. I believe. Well, where they mark it. Coming out to the 20 yard line, saying it goes into the end zone. The seventh in the series of football classics will be seen on NBC this Sunday, and I, you know what I'm talking about. January the 14th, it will be the Super Bowl. That means Miami and Washington. Miami winners in the AFC in a tough game yesterday over Pittsburgh. Washington took care of Dallas. At 2 o'clock, our Super Sunday shows, a compilation of the previous six. Then at 3 o'clock, the big one for pro football, the Super Bowl, right here on NBC. 7 to nothing, Nebraska. It has the football. Dam Kroger right there. Dam Kroger goes for five or six yards. Wrestled down by number 45, Mahalik, and 81, O'Malley, the linebackers. It'll be second down and four. And Greg Marks back in the lineup. Apparently his knee injury is uh, momentarily resolved. That's Rogers at the top of your screen and Rebell at the bottom. Second and a short four. Second man through is Gary Dixon. And didn't get very far. Bob Devaney has been alternating backfields tonight of Gaylor and Olds on the one hand and Dixon and Dan Kroger on the other. Third down. There's the 57-year-old coach, the winningest percentage-wise coach in all of the active coaching ranks of college today, and this is his last. There's Eric Parsegan, still with years to go. Number 29 and number three. There's Dixon going for the first down if he can get it, and it'll be close. It will be close. Rudnick is up there. Marks is there. It is a first down for Nebraska. All he had to do was get across that 30-yard line, 30-yard stripe. 2.25 to go. We are in the first quarter. Nebraska leads 7 to nothing on a 76-yard march the first time they had the football. Hum is rarely passed. He's going to pass this time and passes to list his tight end. This bounced off Schleses and was finally put down by number 42, Tim Sullivan. Hum coming, throwing this ball left-handed, a little difficult from that angle. List getting a real shot here from Ken Sleazy. And pulling away. Tackle at the 37-yard line, second down and about four. Hum is three for four for 26 yards. This is Dixon. Dixon gets the first down and may have a lot more than that. Chased down and caught by Townsend and Barnett. But not until he gets inside the 30-yard line down to the 27. And the Cornhuskers keep roaring down the field. They're coming off that ball so well. 62, Baron Dixon. French on the right. 86, Brent Longwell out in front, the tight end. Gary Dixon from Oxnard, California, winding up his collegiate career tonight. And Osbush has come out at left tackle, and Potepa replaces him on that side. Marks is still in the game. Hum hands to Dixon again. Dixon gets inside the 20-yard line. Townsend, Barnett in on the tackle. That's a gain of eight yards. It's second down and two. Nebraska says they are playing this one for pride. They can't win the national championship. Notre Dame says we can play with anybody. That is Rogers trying to get the first down. Very close, and we're going to have. Well, now they say it's a first down as they've begun to move the sticks. 
Now it's a first down for Nebraska at the 17 yard line. The game was two yards and it picks up the bell goes to the West. Gaylor is in and is to the right. Johnny Rogers is in the high back formation and looks right there. Reading that play all the way. Number 45 will be getting up. Nope, that is 95, George Hayduck, the right end. Rogers lost three and a half yards on the play. It is second down. Just 15 seconds to go in the first quarter. Hum has time. Throws for Ravel. Ravel is inside the five. Down to the one. It's first and goal to go. Townsend makes the stop. Ravel just a down and in pattern on Townsend. And the ball just put on spot perfectly. Couldn't have led him any better. All he needed was just a little inside advantage on the defender. Ravel is out of Sierra Madre in California. Well, the first quarter has ended in the 1973 Orange Bowl in Miami, and thus far it has been all Nebraska. They lead by seven and may score again when we come back. Wrote, this is Jim Simpson. As you look at the scoring by quarters, look in the first quarter for Nebraska's opponents. All year long in 11 games, three points. And Notre Dame got none tonight as they start a new year. No touchdowns in the first quarter against Nebraska. Dixon and Dam Kroger are the backs in there with Johnny Rogers. That is Hum, and Hum is not going to get his touchdown. See where they mark the football. He is thrown back to the five-yard line. Thrown back by number 47, Mazurka. Another look at it, that whole left side of the Notre Dame defense. Sullivan. They'll mark it right at the original line of scrimmage. No gain. This is the second man. Dixon. Gary Dixon has his ninth touchdown of the season. We'll have the goal line viewpoint here. You can see where he goes over the goal line. His body across. Dixon goes to the sidelines and he has been waved back in. Hum will hold for Rich Sanger. And the Notre Dame offense down along the sidelines is running to get back in and see if they can't get back into the football game. Sanger's kick is perfect. 14-29 to go in the half, and Nebraska leads by the score of 14 to nothing. That's the one. 
they do not want to do. Go on and Jim and I'm just talking to my spotter. Yeah, that's the one. They are back at the Iron Sandy. Rich Sanger will kick off. Dewan, 10 nearest to you. Dimonic, 28 across the way. That is Dimonic back into his end zone. He brings it out to the 10. And down he goes on what a tackle that was. Number 48, John Starkybaum, a reserve monster man. 10 plays, 80 yards, 4 minutes and 4 seconds. It took Nebraska to score their second touchdown with Dixon going over from one yard out. Ball is spotted at the 14-yard line. It was first and 10 for Notre Dame. The Irish still have not put Pennick in the ball game. He was their leading ground gainer. That is best in motion. That is the freshman best with the football. And best gets perhaps a yard out near the 15-yard line. Again, I think we can look for the Irish to start throwing on those sprint out passes, the play action passes. They've had men just wide open. Tom Clements has missed on a couple of wide open receivers. I think he'll come back to it. Monty Johnson now in at one defensive tackle for Nebraska. Second down and nearly 10. The one in motion. That is Best again. Best, a good runner, gets out near the 20 yard line. First time he ever ran the football for Notre Dame was against Purdue, and he went 56 yards for a touchdown. He is a freshman. This month, first Tuesday visits the San Francisco Chinatown tourists never see and reports on the foreign fishing boat invasion off the New England coast. Watch First Tuesday, tomorrow night at 10 and 9 Central Time, right here on NBC. Third down and three for Notre Dame. Best has come out of the backfield. Dimonick has checked in. The one in motion. Huff straight ahead, and he does not have the first down. Notre Dame will have to give up the football again. And that's the one thing they do not want to do. When Nebraska has had the football, they have had the ability to move it. But Brian Doherty is coming back on. He is the punter. And Joe Alvarado, a junior from East Chicago, has come back on. He is the man who snaps for punts. Nebraska has 10 first downs. Notre Dame, 2. Nebraska's had the ball for 31 plays. Notre Dame, 15. Borg is back, along with Rogers. First time tonight, we will have seen Rogers in a punt return, and perhaps he won't get it. Ball bounds near midfield and goes right out of bounds on about the 49-yard line. Of Nebraska will be first down and 10. Second quarter, orange ball in mind. 12.29 to go. Nebraska 14 to nothing over Notre Dame. Dardy's 30-yard punt is marked at the Notre Dame, or rather at the Nebraska 48-yard line. It is first down and 10 for the Cornhuskers. Frosty Anderson is now in as a wide receiver at the bottom of your screen, number 89. He replaces Ravel. Mm -hmm. Here's Johnny Rogers. He is going to throw down to Frosty Anderson. He's there. Touchdown!
52 yards. Almost tell Johnny Rogers lined up a little deeper than he normally does in that slot out there, so there would be a lateral. And there he finds Frosty Anderson, the junior from Scotts Club, Nebraska, who holds it in over the head of Tim Rudnick. Another look at Anderson faking in as though he was what looked like to be a short screen pass. He put that ball right on the target. And the kick is blocked. And so now, the Cornhuskers of Nebraska put a couple of touchdowns on the board within a couple of... Here's how... And it looks like it's coming... Well, we'll see. It looks like... Haydock, 95. 95. 52 yards in one play, and it took nine seconds off the scoreboard clock to do it. Nebraska. Now let's talk about another sport, the Dean Martin Tucson Open Golf Tournament, coming up Saturday and Sunday, January 20th and 21st, out in Tucson, Arizona, on the Saturday show, 5 to 6.30 Eastern Time, on Sunday afternoon, 2.30 to 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Juan and Dimonick are deep, Sanger kicks off. That is Dimonick at the five-yard line, to the 20, to the 25, and out to the 26-yard line. And now the Fighting Irish still have a lot of time left. More than 42 minutes, but something had better start going right on offense. Before they take the ball, another comment about Johnny Rogers. That was his first pass of the season. And he holds the NCAA record for average yards gained every time he touches the ball. Something close to 14 yards, no matter in what manner he has his hands on the ball. That's his average. Go on in motion to the top of your screen. Clements comes out throwing. Throws out here and has Jiminy. At the 30-yard line, ball is loose, but I believe they'll mark it at the 30-yard line, which is a gain of four, and it'll be second down and six for Notre Dame. The Aurelian, number 15, is the man who hit Dimonick. One of the Nebraska players down. I believe it is Aurelian. Let's see, it is number 15. The reserve right defensive back who made the hit. Another look at it, and you... Zavin Uralian, the junior from Inglewood, California, will be making the tackle on Demonic. Ball was ruled down. Uralian off to the sideline now. Second down, six. Ardell Johnson, 29, has replaced Uralian. Dewan in motion. Clements now hands to Dewan, who double back going the other way. Started out in motion this way, turned and went the other way, and picked up yardage only to the 34 and a half. It'll be third down and about two. Jim Branch, number 51. The senior linebacker on the strong side made the stop. Big John Dutton with his long arms almost got him. Dutton, the junior from Rapid City, South Dakota. 6'7", 248. Third down short yardage. They give it to Andy Huff, and Huff has got the first down, moving out to the 38-yard line. First down for Notre Dame. Locke is running with 11 minutes to go. For those of you who may not have been with us at the beginning, we mentioned that Eric Pennick, number 44, a sophomore, participated unknowingly with Coach Eric Persegan in the Orange Bowl parade. Persegan was upset. Flag goes down on this play. And uh, we have not seen Pennock tonight, nor did he start in practice yesterday afternoon. That is Art Best, who, by the way, was with Pennock in the parade. Five yards charged against Nebraska offside. So that'll give Notre Dame a first and five, as John Dampier, the co-captain, senior to offensive right tackle out of Kermit, Texas, says we'll take it. And they're working that play fairly successfully. They're blocking out Willie Harper, the All-American defensive end, trying to get John Dutton to take himself out of the play and countering back into the hole that's created when he does move out of there. Aurelian has come back in. Youngster that tackled Dimonick and hurt himself. There he is in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. Clement 
looking, throwing, has Andy Huff, can't hold on to the football at the 48-yard line. Huff was between linebacker John Pitts and defensive end Steve Manstead, who had dropped off the line of scrimmage and was trailing Huff. Dimonick uh, sat himself down after catching a pass moments ago. And again, Clements uh, using his play pass action very well. That play pass action freezes those men up on the line of scrimmage as well as the linebackers. Then there are really not enough deep men to cover his receivers downfield. They use a, basically a three deep with Dave Mason, the monster man. You saw Eric Pinnock, the leading ground gainer on the season, not in the game. There goes Art Best, the young freshman. Ball is handed straight ahead to Andy Huff and Rich Glover. Number 79 is down the bottom there. Led everybody in tackles on Nebraska squad this year, the Outland Trophy winner. There he is again. Also a finalist, I think, for the Vince Lombardi Award. Third down and almost. There is Johnny Rogers across the way. He has thrown a 50 yard, two yard touchdown pass tonight. He has gone in the score. He has had quite a night. Al Samuel is now in. And that is not nearly enough. Andy Huff doesn't get enough for the first down as he goes across the 45. Al Samuel, number 24, from the University of Notre Dame, is a sophomore from Newport News, Virginia. And in the Notre Dame depth chart that they gave us, Al wasn't even considered one of the top three backs. But Samuel is in there playing tonight. Ryan Doherty comes out to do the punting. So Johnny Rogers goes back deep, along with Randy Borg. Doherty's last kick was but 30 yards. 20 to nothing, Nebraska. It's a lot more foot into this one. Rogers not calling for the fair catch. The nine yard line and look out. Thrown back. They'll mark it at the six. Great coverage on the kick. Art Best looked like was the first to hit him. 44 yard punt. No return at all. 9.09 to go in the first half. Nebraska 20. Notre First down from the six-yard line. Rogers was hit right here. Kyle. Very quickly, another look at it. That's Art Best. Freshman from Columbus, Ohio. Jumping over a potential blocker. Gaylor, Olds, and Rogers are in the backfield now with Dave Hum. And Bob Devaney has the talent and the depth to use many different backfields. Ravel, back in, split in, down the right-hand corner of the screen. Here in motion as Olds goes straight ahead and out near the 10 yard line. A market at the 10, a gain of four. It'll be second down and six. Now from Miami. On a night when the temperature is in the low 70s, let's pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC television network. Second down and about six. There goes Dave Gaylor, and he is way shy of the first down as he gets across the 10 out near the 13-yard line. Greg Marks was leading the tacklers that time. He's been It'll be third down, and four yards. T. Anderson, who caught the 52-yard touchdown pass thrown by Johnny Rogers, comes in and comes out wide to the left. That is Hum with the football and O'Malley with Hum. It is fourth down. 
Jim O'Malley made quite a play from his middle linebacker spot. Number 81, the senior out of Youngstown, Ohio. And O'Malley really reading his, cue, his keys very well, following that guard that's pulling out, slicing in behind him, pulling down the quarterback. Nebraska leads by 20, but now called on to punt the ball away. Rudnick goes back with Sleezus in double safety. Sanger does everything for Nebraska in the kicking department and gets that one away. A driving kick. Rudnick has it at the 45. Notre Dame will have excellent field position. Rudnick is all the way down to the 30-yard line. That'll be first and 10. They'll mark it inside the 30. Frosty Anderson made the stop. A 35-yard punt, a 15-yard return. By young Tim Rudnick out of Chicago. Number seven. And now Tom Clements and his Notre Dame teammates have the ball just inside the 30 and with a chance to get on the scoreboard. Nebraska thus far has manhandled it. Notre Dame has been able to move on a couple of key situations. Passes have just been overthrown or dropped. Greeny wide to the left. Straight ahead goes Andy Huff. Picks up yardage down near the 26-yard line. Let's call it a gain of three, second down and seven. Monty Johnson in on the stop. John Pitts, Jim Branch all right there with Branch leading the way. And with this alignment, defensive alignment of Nebraska, it's almost like a three-man rush with four linebackers, Manstead and Harper, more or less outside linebackers, the way they're playing their defensive end position. DeWan brought a couple of big passes back in... First quarter is out there. This is our best. And best just does get across the 15-yard line. So it's going to be third down and very nearly five. Rich Glover is down the bottom there, making the tackle again. The Outland Trophy. Third down and about five. Bob Devaney winning his coach among all those active, and he will not be active in the collegiate ranks after tonight. Osborne will take over. He is currently an assistant on the Nebraska staff. Townsend goes out to the left. Big play for Notre Dame. They have the ball just inside the 30. Now it's third down and nearly five. Clements hands the best and there's Rich Glover. The Alvin Trophy winner reading all the way, knocks down the freshman. It is fourth down. Well, they went to the well once too often. They've been trying to influence Glover to take himself out of the play in previous plays. Here's another look at Glover. It'll be right across from the quarterback, right on the center's nose. You see them pull the left guard and the right and the center going off to as though they were trying to cut him off and keep him from going to the right. Tom Clements, who was quite a basketball star in high school, comes over to talk to Eric Persegan and his staff. As a matter of fact, Clements said he had a chance to go to play Basketball at North Carolina or football at Notre Dame, and he chose Notre Dame. 5.57 to go. It's Nebraska 20. Notre Dame, nothing at the Orange Bowl. Yeah, just roll them. No matter what I'm saying, roll them. I'll get into them. Don't worry about Don't wait for me. Quarterback Dave Hum, who tonight has got at Nebraska to 241 total yards thus far. Notre Dame has 53. At fourth down and seven from the 27 yard line. Clements back to throw. Throws for his tight end, Freedy, who can't get to it. Makes a dive inside the 10 yard line. And Mike Freedy of Towson, Maryland, the senior All American, just couldn't get there. And the ball goes over to Nebraska out of their own 27-yard line. Clements, uh, in all fairness to him, getting a little pressure back there. Rich Glover being one of three Nebraska defensive linemen, putting the pressure on him. 
he has had a little trouble with his accuracy tonight but their play designs have really been on target getting men open just missing them. Dixon and Dan Kroger set behind hum hum is going to throw on first down looking downfield for Rogers off the hands of Rudnick Rudnick was step for step with Johnny Rogers the Heisman Trophy winner and knocked it away Rudnick has had some good plays tonight Bunt returns, coverage of passes, and this was a one-on-one -on -one situation. Rogers really breaking up the play, turning defensive back at that point as he goes downfield. You'll see Rudnick is, really has the better position. He'll reach up with his left hand and try and tip it. Rich Baugh, 24, has come in for the moment. That is Dixon getting across the 30-yard line out to the 32-yard line where it'll be third down. And five. George Scott, there's Mason. Blitz one time tonight and sack Clements. Dumbler with the toughest for Nebraska trying to hold a long block on Greg Marks. The play took a extraordinarily long time to develop. Ba now flanks to the left. Dixon in motion and can't hold on to the front. And there's Rudnick, who is really hustling tonight, coming over just in case he can get it before it go out of bounds. It'll be fourth down and five to go. And now Rudnick goes back as a safety. He'll join Schlesis as Sanger will kick the ball away. Five, ten to go. We are still in the first half. Nebraska, 20. Notre Dame, nothing. They've had two long marches. And they've also put together a lightning fast one play touchdown of 52 yards. Sanger booms this very high. Sleezer says he wants the fair catch. Backs up, has lost the football. And I believe it is Rudnick who jumped on it. Again, showing heads up play. It is Rudnick who jumped on it. As Allward got down and was in on the play also. Well, many thousands of families are homeless and hungry in Nicaragua, and remember, you can help these earthquake victims by sending dollars to CARE. The Nicaraguan Earthquake Fund, Department 2, New York, New York, 10016. First down for Notre Dame from their own 22. Dewan in motion. Now he sets and starts out again. Clement still with the football. Throws out to Creedy, the tight end. Creamy running very well and is out near a first down. Across the 30-yard line, if they mark it at the 34, he's got the first down. Set up a screen to the tight end, Mike Creamy. First down, they'll mark it at the 33. Creamy doing a good job of acting on the play, which you need on a screen pass. Trying to get away from the Steve Manstead, 82. On again in motion. Clements pitches back. This is our best. Looking for some running room. Finding a little bit of it and going for seven yards out to the 40-yard line, where it'll be second down and three. The freshman art best tangled by tackled by Randy Borg. That's really having more trouble getting through a maze of his own people rather than Nebraska defensive people. Ball at the 40, clock is running, 4.15 to go on the half. Townsend goes out to the left, bringing the tight end, splits five yards to the right. This is Best again, trying to get the first down, and he is just shy. You can see Glover there. And you can also see Monty Johnson and John Dutton getting up. Dutton at the very bottom of the pile. It'll be third down and a yard. Third down one yard, and Bill Jansen comes back in. Number 55, a tackle. And trotting off the field is Thornton, a safety. Well, they've added another defensive lineman on a third and short yarded situation. Andy Huff normally gets the ball in these situations. Let's see if he does again. They fake to him on third and short. Has to put it up for Dewan, and it is intercepted by number 56, John Pitts. Instead of going for the half yard, they put it in the air, hung it up, and Pitts intercepts at the 41. A look at it again. A good fake into Andy Huff, number 20. Then 
Creeney having a little difficulty getting out of there as quickly as he would like to have. There it is, number 56, John Pitts. From the 41-yard line with Ravel wide to the right. Dixon and Dam Kroger and Rogers are the backs. Tom has shown a willingness to throw. He sets up and throws over here. This is Brent Longwell, the reserve tight end. And he gets out to the 45-yard line. Stopped there by O'Malley and Mihalich. Gain of four. It'll be second down and six. Got it. Umpiring. Good blocker. Looks have excellent hands. Number 86, Junior from Homer, Nebraska. Gaylers come in. They are really changing the backs around here. This is Johnny Rogers from the eye back formation. Very close to the first down. Rogers listed as the wing back. He's been playing the eye back, as Kyle pointed out. Hasn't done that too much this year, but an awful lot tonight. You know, the, the rumors that fly around camps when the two teams come down to start working out for the game, they keep saying, you know, Johnny Rogers is working in the deep eye back spot. And of course, he was doing that last year. They didn't use him much last year against Alabama. Third down on the yard. That is Gaylor. He did get across the 50, very close to the first down, and was thrown back to the 50-yard line. Big George Hayduck, number 95, about to get up, made the stop. Close to the first down. And we're going to have the measure. George Hayduck. 217 to go in the first half. First time in a quarter of a century these two teams have met. Nebraska had hoped to win its third consecutive national title this year. That was not to be, and congratulations to Southern California for having won that. That's how far they've got to go to get the first down. And Notre Dame not expected to have the kind of record it had, 8-2-0, in the Orange Bowl for the first time in history. And Jerry List checking back in at tight end for Nebraska, replacing Brent Longwell. Notre Dame has gotten itself together defensively pretty well after that 52-yard shocker. But they haven't been able to get their own offense going. Fourth down and inches. Second man through. He has got all the time in the world. And guess who it is? Number 20, Johnny Rogers. First down at the 45-yard line of Notre Dame. And watch Rogers when he spots that opening, tremendous acceleration. Trying to take Marks in, George Hayduck in. 45. Kicking Drew Mahalik out. First down from the 45, that is Gaylor in motion. I'm looking to throw, setting it up to Dam Kroger on the screen pass to the right. Dam Kroger is across the 40 and knocked down. Well, that was one of the great, great screen plays as far as deployment of personnel. They had Crenshaw, the right tackle, Barron, 62, the right guard, Dumbler, the center, all three out in great shape for the, for the screen man. Azurka made the stop after a gain of six, second down four. Hum. Over the middle, Jerry List, tight end. First down, down to the 31-yard line. Lost the football. They jumped on it, but they say, hold it, come back here. Where O'Malley and Slee just made the stop. That's where the ball will be spotted. It still belongs to Nebraska. 1-12 to go. We are in the half. Nebraska scored on an 76-yard march the first time they had the football. Marched again and scored on the first play of the second quarter. Got the ball back two minutes later and threw a 52-yard touchdown pass with Johnny Rogers throwing it. Just 20 to nothing. Tom, the ball... No good, intended for Jerry List, the tight end there, and he is double teamed by O'Malley and Mazurka, the middle and outside linebacker, picking up the tight end as he came across the line. Second down and 10, 56 seconds to go. Dave Hum, Rossi Anderson tells him what to do. Hum is the top sophomore quarterback in the country in total offense. Clements not far behind. The quarterbacks tonight in the Orange Bowl, both sophomores. Second down. Hom setting up to go deep to Rogers, and he just can't run under the ball. Back there with him was Rudnick. Rudnick's really putting in a full afternoon, a full evening, I guess we should say. Tim Rudnick, the junior from Chicago, Illinois. Not too big, 
5'10", not too small, 185 pounds. Rudnick, after that long run, Kyle, gets the rest and bobs the knot. From Riverton, Illinois, number 34 is checked in on third down and 10. Rich Baugh is back in, number 24, after Roger's long run. That is Baugh with the football, and that is Baugh with the first down inside the 20-yard line. Rich Baugh, the sophomore from Fremont, Nebraska. Rogers, you'll note, they'll take him out after a long run. Johnny's a great athlete, but he and many others of the Nebraska team have been bothered with flu. Preceding week, a little bit short on endurance after coughing and hacking their way through practice and battling the fever. 44 seconds to go. We're in the first half. But by the way, right here and now, let's say that Ernie Siler and Dan McNamara and the entire Iron Bowl crew have another great halftime pageant. You will also see the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame marching band and, of course, the Big Red from Nebraska in their marching band. Great halftime here tonight. Other game, Sugar Bowl was won last night, remember, by Oklahoma, 14 to nothing over Penn State. And this afternoon to defeat uh, Alabama in the Cotton Bowl, 17 to 13. He ran away from Ohio State to seal that national championship. Well, we got some sad news as we started the day. Wherever you are, perhaps you haven't heard. Roberto Clemente, one of the great stars of all time in baseball, heading up the committee to provide facilities, foodstuffs, money, care for those in the Nicaraguan earthquake, was killed in an airplane crash last night as he tried, along with the rest of the plane, to take foodstuffs to Nicaragua. A great loss in the sports world. Hum is back. Hum throws out of the backfield across the way to Dave Gaylor, and Gaylor is really lowered there by Mazurka and Sleezus. After a gain of a couple of yards. Ball is on the 16-yard line. Hey, that had to shake him up uh, pretty well. Two fellas hitting him flush. About the only place Hum could have put the ball to complete it, however. Second down and eight to go, 38 seconds to go. Hum looking, throwing across the middle. Down goes Johnny Rogers. Now they say that he did not have the ball. O'Malley is on top of it, figuring that Rogers had fumbled it. But it's called an incomplete forward pass. So that'll be third down and eight. The official who called it was from the back side of Rogers. Offensive pass interference. That is charged against Johnny Rogers. The intended receiver on the play. Vance Carlson is our referee tonight, and I think we told you that he is out of the business. Here's Nebraska. 15-yard penalty from the spot to the 31-yard line. 15 yards and loss of a down. Loss of a down. Well, that means instead of third down and about five to go, it's going to be fourth down. Check that to third down. They still have third across the way. Third down and about 22 to go. Frosty Anderson is in and wide left. The home run, Jimmy! Dixon in motion. Hum back. Hum looking for Frosty Anderson, who is all by himself. In the middle of four or five Notre Dame men, playing kind of a prevent defense with time running out. They have stopped the clock with 22 seconds to go. Anderson, the young junior out of Scott's Bluff, as Kyle said, that he has been doing so well. What a shock it was to have a sophomore, Bob Ravel, to come up and... And another look at it. They put the man in motion. That draws number 45, Drew Mihalik, up just a little bit. Enough where they could get it over him. Give a little opening for Frost Anderson to move into that vacated area. Well, Sanger has come in and is going to try a field goal with Hum holding. This will be a total of, from our angle, it looks like it's the 22, nearly the 23. It's called at the 23-yard line, and it would be a 33-yard field goal for Sanger. Right now it is 20 to nothing. Notre Dame would like to stop this. Nebraska wants it. The kick is up. And the kick is way off to the side. So for the last nearly 13 minutes of the half, Notre Dame has stopped Nebraska from scoring. The problem for the Fighting Irish is they haven't been able to score against that great Nebraska defense. And the Cornhuskers lead 20 to nothing. 
And 18 seconds left in the half. See which way Clements decides to go with it. Eric Pennick, Kyle, has checked in with 18 seconds to go. Their leading ground gainer, 727 yards. A sophomore has the best speed, 9 5 for the 100, gets his first chance to play tonight. Number 44. And they give to him on the delayed draw. He has all that speed, remember? And gets out across the 40 yard line. Dragged down by Monty Johnson, number 37, and quickly Notre Dame calls time. Well, there's the fellow that was apparently sat down for most of the half because of the fact that he participated in a parade unknown to his coach and it kind of shocked there. And watch how he turns sideways, takes that ball in under his elbow. Looked as though he's just turning out to help pass block. Talk about his speed, Monty Johnson, the 6'6", 240-pound tackle, showed me some speed there in pursuit. <laughs> you know, you see a big tackle with the number 37, you keep thinking, where'd he come from in the secondary? The ball is marked at the 41-yard line, 10 seconds to go, 20 to nothing the score. Notre Dame trying to get something generated. Irish this year in their losing causes to Missouri and the Southern Cal scored 26 and 23 points respectively. The least amount of points they have scored was in a victory when they shut out Michigan State 60-0. But Nebraska has shut them out thus far tonight. For Nebraska to shut out someone, if you look at I.R. Prosegan's fine coaching record, is not unusual. They shut out four teams in a row. Now Art Best, the freshman, Eric Pennick, the sophomore, are the setbacks with Dewan in motion. Ten seconds to go. Clements being pursued by Rich Glover. Throws the ball, and it is knocked away. Intended for Willie Townsend inside the 45-yard line, and four seconds remain. John Hyland, a defensive end, and Kyle, you've been pointing this out. The defensive ends are dropping off to defend against those passes, and it was Hyland who was on Townsend. Well, they really feel, I think, that, you know, their three interior linemen can handle pretty much the rush. Gives them a little more flexibility. Uh, Highland, Manstead, Harper, Tom Pate, whomever is in at defensive end. They're that unique uh, brand of football player that have the ability to meet the running play and agility to drop back in pass coverage. Go on in motion again. Clements gives to Pennick again, and Pennick this time is knocked down rather quickly. As the first half ends, don't go away. We have all that halftime pageantry, and who knows what's going to happen in the second half. But the moment we'll say the first half is over. Nebraska's Cornhuskers have been convinced by the score of 20 to nothing. And we'll return to the Bomb the Orange Bowl in a moment. I do the little dinky thing about Pontiac and then uh, then to that then the billboard guys we've got a guy hurt out there I don't know what... this 1973 Irons Bowl game is being brought to you by Pontiac the wide track people have a way with cars well, the Irons Bowl halftime pageantry will continue with the Cornhusker marching band in just a moment. Right now, from Miami, we pause for station identification. Right. 
next is the Nebraska. The 1973 Orange Bowl game is brought to you by General Motors, maker of Chevrolet, Pontiac, Oldsmobile, Buick, Cadillac, GMC trucks, and Frigidaire appliances. And by Goodyear, makers of the new custom steel guard radial tires. And by Texaco and the many thousands of independent Texaco retailers and distributors in all 50 states. Well, that is the University of Notre Dame marching band first out here at halftime. So let us go down to the field, and they're under the direction of Mr. Robert O'Brien. It's halftime. Always a pleasure at the Orange Bowl in Miami. student representatives from all 50 states and 57 foreign countries. We salute our 8,200 plus students with a sign of the time. Notre Dame typifies academic excellence through academic balance, and fused with the famous spirit of the Fighting Irish. Our formation is a balanced scale, our tune with a little bit of luck. <laughs> 